right, so, so let's, let's talk, talk about. about uh, oh, oh, did oh, you did you want to uh, did you want to start start it off? It's your show, so. Well, it, it was, yeah. Yes, you should. I, I go f- go, go first. first. Oh, yeah. Isn't this uh, the perfect segue? I think it's safe to say that over time, Ivan and I have become quite the awkward conversation connoisseurs. Too bad all this knowledge of social awkwardness is mostly, uh, self-experience. Okay, prime example. Like, when you're trying to have a conversation with someone new, but your brain decides to function at the same cognitive level as used couch cushion. Or like when you accidentally make eye contact with that one person you kinda know and then just immediately break stare and pretend to check your phone or something. Because that, that's the rule. Silently agreeing that this whole social transaction just never happened. At all. Well, our awkward friends, believe it or not, these situations are needed. Okay, nah, but like for real, for these points, am I, am I going first or you want to? Dude, I I don't know, just. Just go first. You sure? I, okay, I'm a, I'm a, yeah, yeah just, okay. Just, okay. just go. So consider awkward moments like the thin film that separates your lean cuisine of an understanding of a situation from the actual situation at hand. It's knowing societal norms and then burying them in your parents' backyard along with the rest of your dignity. And like the worst Spider-Man ever, it's not until after the situation has become all sorts of bad that you're actually alerted that things have gone way deep south. And then there it is. It's awkward. But that's good. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm serious. It, it's good because that's your signal to stop doing whatever it is you're doing. Consider awkward moments like getting an answer wrong on some, some stupid class assignment. Either you acknowledge that it happened, prep yourself for that particular situation when it comes up again, and then ace that bad boy, or you forget we covered that question entirely. We're usually in that that second uh, camp. Awkwardness is a lot like uh, uh, like pain. Actually, almost literally like pain because awkward moments activate the same neural pathways as physical pain. Word of be sauce. Okay, so like when you were a kid, you learned not to touch the stove because it was hot, or that you shouldn't pick pointy plants and they do not make a super cool imaginary swords to swing at your friends with. I was a weird kid. I, I was. I was a weird kid, okay. But look at me today! No longer touching stoves and making weird pointy swords because it was weird and wrong. And I learned that from the situation. Just like how you can learn from awkward ones. And I'm not I'm not saying all awkward moments are avoidable. I f-ing wish. But they make you realize how not to go about certain things during an interaction. You just need to learn and then adapt. All right, so on to point number two. Being awkward is common, and you're not as awkward as you think, so it's really not a bad thing. Everybody's awkward. Even the most confident people out there have had moments where all knowledge of normal human interaction just goes right out the window. But Ivan, I hear you ask from the other side of your computer, how would you know everyone goes through the same awkward garbage I do? Uh, because we're only human, and it's basically wired into us. Uh, sorry if you were expecting a more profound or scientific explanation, but if you really think about it, people do weird and awkward stuff on the daily. Even celebrities, the people you expect to be the most socially adept out there have had their moments of just uh, extreme cringe. I mean, we get it. A lot of awkward situations seem to stem from social anxiety or just the idea that all eyes are on you. But what people don't realize is that they're not the center of attention and whatever awkward they do isn't as big of a deal as they originally thought. So don't sweat it, buddy. That barista behind the counter, totally not even gonna remember the time you stuttered trying to order one of those long-winded Italian coffees. The damn girl couldn't even spell your name right, you dumb hipster. But uh, let's face it, this whole interaction probably still gonna keep you up at night regardless. Anyways, the point I'm trying to get across is you're awkward, but so is everybody else and nobody really cares. Everyone's really just too busy worrying about their own social mishaps to even notice yours. It's like we're all in our own little awkward bubbles just festering away. Man, ain't that poetic. And there you have it. Awkwardness isn't that bad. And really, it all just comes down to learning from your mistakes and not stressing about them too much. You're awkward and uh, that's okay. But uh, hey, that's just our opinion. So. Let's ask the public. Would you consider yourself an awkward person? Yes, 100%. Most of the time. No. Sometimes. No, I would not consider myself an awkward person. You have to define the definition of awkward. Ah, here we go. What are some awkward things you find yourself doing? I don't know what to say. <laughs> there you go. See? There's one. You can add it to the list. I don't think I have like one big situation. It's like just a lifestyle. Oh. <laughs> of awkwardness. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I'm, I'm not crazy. But I like to like. That's the way to start the conversation. Right through their coffee, yeah. and the lady comes with those fancy names, Mojillo. Someone was asking me, where do where do you guys want to go eat? And I was like, steak and shake, and everyone was just like, I don't know. I don't even know the names. I mean, I, I just I just need a coffee. You guys end up going? No. <laughs> I had a blanket on my head. 
today for about an hour. After Run around like ET. <laughs> <laughs> Why? That's weird. I don't Why? Know that to be awkward. All right. There's a difference between weird and awkward. That might fall into both. They're like saying, someone says, what's up? And you say, good. I do that a lot. Yeah, that happens to me all the time, too. <laughs> you weren't out in public. Oh, no. She no, had a hung hangover. I was hungover. That explains Those everything. Do you think awkward situations are needed socially? Oh, yes. I agree. Yeah, I feel like there needs to be awkward moments. Just like winning and losing. That's how I see it. If uh, you need to lose in order to win, you need awkward situations in order to be like compatible around in society. Because it makes people laugh. Awkward situations brings um, brings out someone's true characteristic. Let's put it this way. If I wouldn't come talk to you, I wouldn't be here being interviewed today. So let's just go for it. Yeah. Just do it. Let's so. see you later. Are you here? Yo, what is up, guys? Big shout out to Ivan Animated for being in this video. Uh, it was a it was a great experience. It was so cool to have him on. If you guys liked that collab, let me know because I'm thinking about doing more collabs like that in the future. So, please. And if you liked the video, drop a like and turn on notifications so I feel affirmed uh, whenever I post a video. Um, I'm looking into doing some new stuff in the future. I'll get into it probably in like an update video, maybe. But all right, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. I'm out.